Hello everyone, in this tutorial from uh, GeoStudio, we are going to talk about how to model our uh, s uh, slope W using strength reduction method. Last time we talked about uh, modeling the slope stability using um, uh, using uh, limit equilibrium analysis in both uh, software uh, uh, rock science slide uh, version 6.02 and we already uh, uh, model this in juice loop in uh, version of um, 2018 and using limit equilibrium analysis today we are going to model this using uh, limit uh, using strength reduction method we will start with new sloop uh, w and we are going to go to check our first model to be again sorry we are going to start with defining uh, a sigma w model in, in situ test and in this we will choose in situ and uh, the initial pore water pressure none and this is say okay in the second one we say slope w and slope w we will keep it push up and we will keep it entry and from left to right and we will keep the default value but for push up we will uh, uh, for sorry here we will keep it as sigma w because we will solve as a strength reduction method and the stress uh, condition we will take it from uh, the parent analysis uh, and the parent analysis will be uh, last and we will say uh, close and this is the parent analysis if someone doesn't know so this is our parent analysis here so I say close we will go here to sketch our axis again and uh, we have to check our units so our units here will be in meter and celsius and kilonewton and kilograms and energy in kg and we say okay uh, first thing we are going to sketch the axis the axis here uh, will be um, minus 5 and the maximum will be 45 and for y will be minus uh, 5 to 30 so this is our my axis here and I'm going to go here to view the grid and view the grid here and my grid here will be each every one meter and I will say close as we can see here uh, uh, again I will go here to modify the axis uh, here and I will make it at 0 and here at 0 to have a limited domain and I will say close then I will go here to draw a region and as we remember from the last time we will just go here and draw our region it will go up until we had uh, 40 and 15 then we will go until it's 25 then I will go up until 20 then I will go here and I will go here and this will be my region as I see then I will go here to draw material first I will define my material my material here I will add new material and I will call it sand and my material will be effective parameter as we can see here and uh, it will be so it will be total stress parameter and it will be elastic plastic uh, and it will be sorry effective drained parameter because our model is drained so here for the modulus of elasticity I will add it as 40,000 uh, 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 kBA uh, 40,000 kBA and the cohesion will be 0 and the phi will be 32 and the Poisson ratio will be 0 0.3 and the unit weight will be 19 and dilation angle will keep it 
okay we can consider it as two and uh, as the initials we will take it as 0 0.5 or we can keep it to be calculated 1 minus sine phi and we say okay then we will come here and we'll start to define or to draw material so this is our material now we will have to put our boundary condition so i will fix this side and this side in x direction and i will fix the base in both direction now we already created the initial stresses i will go to the case of the slope here and i will start to define the material or to define yes uh, or to, sorry to draw material and it will be sand and we will define the material here to be sand and we will calculate it from more column as we can see here and close close now we will have to define our boundary so for x direction it will be uh, again clear it will be from here to here and for this side it will be from here to here and we say close then for the uh, drawing slip surface it will be from here uh, now now I will go here to start the analysis and it will ask to um, save it so I'm gonna save it here at model 2 strength reduction method and I say save now he's saying that stress uh, results from stress parent analysis but this analysis has no parent so the error here I will go here and I will say it come from the last and I say close and I start the analysis and sorry in situ and this is last and I say close and I start now it will start to solve as we can see this is uh, 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 this is our uh, this is our uh, factor of safety as we can see here 1.8 it's high higher than the last one because the factor of safety last time was the failure was here so in order to simulate this more uh, in a meticulous way we'll go back here to define and I will go back here to define uh, this I will say clear and I will come here and I say this is like this and I will come here and I say this will be like this and I say close and I say close I will go here to define and distribute and uh, number of uh, uh, of radius increment here 8 and here is uh, uh, 4 and 8 so how about we make them 8 and 16 and say close and run our analysis so now we can see the factor of safety is 1.48 and as we can see here like our failure is in this slope as here and the factor of safety is 1.498 if we remember we can go back here and define define and we can define this add we can clone here and this one we will make it Spencer or Bishop for example and uh, we will keep it as it is and we say close we will come here and we say solve this again and to compare between the limit equilibrium analysis and strength reduction method so this is the result from uh, from Bishop and this is the result
we can just uh, say here uh, show all surfaces and here yeah we can show this is from Spencer this is from the limit equilibrium and uh, analysis we have to check this again we go to define and sorry this thing is wrong we have to make it because he calculated the factor of safety second time because his parent analysis is the initial and I have to make it none so it just like an initial analysis or a different analysis so I will just run this again so this is from this is from the limit equilibrium analysis and this is the results of Bishop for this analysis so how about if we consider this to be um, Spencer and we say close and we run this analysis only so the results from this analysis was 1.252 from this analysis 1.498 and this is the result from this analysis now and we can see that here we can view uh, draw more circle we can choose one element and we will talk about this in details in other uh, videos uh, as we can see this is different element here you can you can see this is the gauss stresses and here we can go to here to, to show graphs and here to draw contours so we can add uh, this is the total effective stress and here you can in y direction and you can here show the uh, strains uh, in uh, y direction or minimum strain there is no strains in the initial stage and you can here if there is unstructured element this is the total stresses this is the displacement but since this is the initial uh, case there is no uh, there is no uh, stress uh, there is no stresses and this uh, there is no displacement uh, here you can show the results of uh, this element uh, and you can show the unit weight and it's all the same color because uh, it's all uniform material so now from this analysis we already uh, showed here show all so now I can see everything and as I can see the critical one uh, this is the critical one and we can here make a range and show legend and uh, here from this analysis I can do the same so this is uh, an introduction about uh, slope W for strength reduction method and uh, comparing the results with the uh, limit equilibrium analysis in further videos we will talk about uh, C W and sigma W and quake W uh, uh, we will finish this tutorial at this point see you in next uh, videos thank you